got to make a confession. Um, over the last couple weeks, I've been getting really into watches, which is scary because I know what happens to my wallet when I got into sneakers, and watches are a lot more expensive than sneakers. So in today's video, rather than just talking about sneakers, I'm going to talk about watches that pair really nicely with pairs of sneakers. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm counting down the top 5 best affordable watches to pair with sneakers. I've always been interested in watches, but I've never really been into watches, if you get what I'm saying. But this whole like interest in watches really deepened over the last like 2 months when I started watching people's watch collections on YouTube, which was a mistake. I should never have done that. Now I'm hooked and I don't know how I'm gonna stop myself from buying a bunch of watches. So when the sponsor of today's video, Joma Shop, reached out, I was so excited to work with them. Joma Shop is a retailer that's based out of Brooklyn that's been around for decades and I've actually bought watches from them in the past. While they're known for specializing in watches, they also have handbags, sunglasses, designer apparel, and shoes. They've also recently just started selling brands like Gucci, Balenciaga, Burberry, and Montclair. And of course, they're known for having an insane watch collection, carrying pretty much every brand available from G-Shock all the way up to Rolexes. And that means they have watches for every single price range. Everything from like a $50 in-house brand all the way up to like a $1.3 million AP. I'm not joking, I checked their site. They've got a diamond encrusted AP for $1.3 million. One of my favorite things about their site is that they not only carry brand new watches, but they also carry pre-owned watches. So for example, one day I'd love to have a Rolex, but I don't want to shell out full retail for it. I could buy a really great pre-owned watch that works great and is pretty much in brand new condition for a lot less money. Joma Shop literally has a watch for every budget and every style, so no matter what you're looking for, you can find a Joma Shop. And of course, you can find all the watches in today's video at jomashop.com and I've linked each one individually in the description below. All of the watches that I picked out to feature in today's video are all genuinely affordable. I think the most expensive watch that I put in the video is like 340 bucks and that's with the special edition box which you don't even have to get. And even though I'm pairing these watches with specific sneakers, that doesn't mean that you can't wear these watches with any sneakers that you like. I think each one of these watches are extremely versatile and you can pretty much wear in any situation. But without further ado, let's jump right into the top 5 best affordable watches watches to pair with your sneakers. Number 5. The Lucien Picard Bosphorus paired with the Adidas Yeezy 700 V3. The Lucien Picard Bosphorus is a very attractive watch that comes with a dark brown strap, sort of a rose gold or a copper colored stainless steel case, and then you've got this white dial with black accents and gold accents. Now obviously gold is a very versatile color and you can pretty much wear this watch with anything, especially when it's on your wrist and your sneakers are on your feet, so you've got a couple feet of difference there, but I felt like it really paired nicely with the 700 V3s because you've got this sort of cream white tone that ties in very nicely with the dial. Not only that, but the strap of the watch also plays really nicely off this black tongue area. I think together they make a really nice pair. The watch itself has a very unique look, that's why I like it so much. It's got an analog dial, a 45 millimeter case, so it's probably better for thicker wrists. My wrist might be a little bit too small for this guy. And then the face itself has this really cool sort of rippling texture, which is actually what drew me to the watch in the first place. Another detail that I really like a lot is this little black. 60 second sub dial which is actually held in place by this sort of rose gold bracket. The Lucien Picard Bosphorus is definitely an eye-catching piece and for a retail price of only 45 bucks you really do get a lot of watch for the money. Hold on I'm gonna try and give you guys a visual of what it would look like on a person. A very short person apparently. At number four we've got the blacked out G-Shock Classic Series analog digital watch paired with the Air Jordan 11 bread. The Casio G-Shock has been a mainstay for sneakerheads for years. It's one of those watches that you can wear every single day and no matter how much it gets beaten up it still works and it still looks great. It's obvious why I picked the triple black G-Shock to go with the Jordan 11 breads. The Jordan 11 breads are one of those sneakers that you can wear both on and off the court and in the same way the G-Shock is just as versatile. Because it's all black it really has that sort of stealth vibe to it, so you can make it stand out depending on your outfit, or really make it sort of fall back into the shadows. This G-Shock Classic Series has got a 55mm case that's made of black resin, and because it's made of resin, it's extremely durable. I mean, you could hit this thing on the table next to me, I'm not going to, and it would be fine. This is such a dope watch, especially with these white hands that really make the dial stand out. That's such a nice touch. The triple black G-Shock with the Bread 11s is one of those pairings that just 
makes sense. I mean, you could probably get away with wearing a white G-Shock or a red G-Shock because, you know, the two other colors on the sneakers. But in my opinion, this color just works so well with the breads. And one of the best parts about this G-Shock is actually the price point. Right now, it's on jomashop.com for 65 bucks. Number three, the Brooklyn Co. Gowanus Automatic Watch paired with the Sean Witherspoon Air Max 197. Now, I realize that the color of these two things don't really immediately make sense together, but when you start to look at the materials of the watch and the materials of the sneaker, then the pairing starts to make sense. The Sean Witherspoon Air Max 197 is a sneaker that's designed to be worn and designed to look better the more that you wear it. The upper of the shoe is covered in multicolored corduroy because Sean Witherspoon owns a secondhand store and he loves corduroy. And the more that you wear this sneaker, the more it starts to fray and the more interesting it starts to look. Wearing the shoe really gives it a life of its own and that's what I think so many people love about this sneaker. The Brooklyn Co. Gowanus Automatic Watch is a very simple watch that comes with a stainless steel case and a leather strap. And the more that you wear it, the more of its own life that it gets. This is one of those watches that because it looks so simple and so clean, you can pretty much wear it in any situation, whether that's going to the office or just hanging out with friends. And even though it seems like the only reason I put these two together is because of the wearability factor, that's not the only reason. I also think the dial of this watch matches really nicely with the yellow upper of this sneaker. Plus you got a little hit of brown on the midfoot of the sneaker that's almost the same shade as the leather strap, but you know, again, from a couple feet apart, you're not gonna notice a difference. One of my favorite details about this watch is the transparent case back, so you can see the inner workings of the watch itself, which is actually kind of rare for a more budget-friendly watch. The Brooklyn Co. Gowanus has a 42 millimeter stainless steel case and also a 42 hour power reserve. It's a really nice looking watch that works for pretty much any occasion. And whether you're wearing it with a crazier looking sneaker like the Sean Witherspoons or something really simple like a pair of dress shoes, it works. And for a hundred bucks at jomashop.com, you can't really go wrong with it. And to be completely honest, if I only had a hundred bucks to spend and I was going for a watch that I could wear for any occasion, this would be the one. Number two, the Belova Lunar Pilot Chronograph and the Adidas Ultra Boost 20 ISS. Visually, the similarities between this watch and this pair of sneakers are obvious. They both have a lot of black. But if you look into things just a little bit farther, you'll realize that the similarities of this watch and this Ultra Boost are a lot deeper than that. This Adidas Ultra Boost 20 is one of the first colorways of the Ultra Boost 20 to release. And because of that, it's a special collaboration with the ISS, the International Space Station. Of course, I also love the iridescent details in the midsole, but that's neither here nor there. As for the Belova Lunar Pilot Chronograph, the reason this watch is called the Lunar Pilot Chronograph is because Belova actually partnered with NASA back in the 1950s to make this the watch that astronauts wore to the moon. Specifically, this watch was worn on the August 2nd, 1971 Apollo 15 moonwalk. The watch was designed to withstand space and still precisely track time and also make sure no one ran out of oxygen. The Belova Lunar Pilot Chronograph has an insane history and the actual watch that was worn on that moonwalk just sold for over a million dollars. Obviously, this watch is not as expensive the watch I have here is the special edition that retails for $339. And it actually comes with this special edition box that has this really nice second strap if you decide to switch things out. If you don't feel like you need the special edition with the box and the leather strap, you can also get the standard edition also on jomashop.com for $289. The Belova Lunar Pilot Chronograph has a 45 millimeter stainless steel case and a water resistance of up to 30 meters. And one of these guys was in space. Like, 50 years ago, but still very cool. I really love this chronograph. I think it's beautiful. I really love chronographs in general because I think the complicated face is really interesting to look at. And now that I've told you how this watch came to be, it makes sense that I paired it with the ISS Ultra Boost, besides just color. Although even if I was just putting these two together because of the way that they looked, I still think it's a nice combination. Number one, the Seiko SKX Automatic Diver with Pepsi Bevel and the Air Jordan 1 Union LA in the Storm Blue colorway. Okay, so uh, I realized that I'm wearing this watch and that's because I love this watch and I've been wearing it every day since I've gotten it. It's such a great watch. And unlike some of the other watches where the pairing was because of some deeper meaning, this is just because the colors totally match up. You've got reds, you've got blues, reds and blues, black, it just makes sense. If you watch my channel at all, you know why I love this sneaker. And that's because the Air Jordan 1 is my favorite silhouette of all time. This collaboration is one of the best collabs to come out of 2018. And uh, to top it all off, I proposed in this sneaker, so it's a very special sneaker for a lot of different reasons. As for the Seiko SKX, if you know anything about watch collecting, you probably know about this watch. Many people consider this to be the watch collector's starter watch, or even the watch collector's beater watch, something that they can wear every day in any situation because it's a great looking sports watch. And the reason this watch is so popular is not just because it looks incredible, it's an insane value for the money. The build quality of this automatic diver is insane. It's got a 42 millimeter 
stainless steel case. It's also, of course, got that Pepsi bevel, which you can turn in one direction. Hold on, I know it's there for a reason, but I like to have that little triangle at the top, so I'm gonna, there we go. Kind of OCD, I guess, I don't know. It's got a blue dial with hands and markers that both have luminescence, and for those of you who don't know what that means, they're glow in the dark. And it glows really strong, and it looks dope. It's definitely worth checking out. Not only that, it's just a beautiful looking watch. Whether you pair it with the Union LA1s or any other sneaker, it's a watch that you can wear in any situation. What really drew me to this watch, though, is of course, the Pepsi bevel. I love red, I love blue. It's obviously functional for a diver, but you know, I've never even dived, so, uh, you know, I'm not using it for that, but visually, I think it looks great. The Seiko SKX comes standard with a rubber watch band, but because it's such a popular watch, there are so many different watch band options to choose from in every variety. And of course, because this watch is on the top five most affordable watches to pair with sneakers, this watch is not expensive at all. You can grab the Seiko SKX Automatic Diver on Joma Shop right now for 279 bucks. And the other thing I kind of like about this watch is that it's kind of an ego booster, to be honest, because you can spend 279 bucks and get the respect of people wearing like $50,000 watches. Maybe not everybody, but serious watch collectors will know what this is and appreciate that you have it on. And if you've got this watch on and the Union LA's on, you've got watch collectors and sneakerheads looking at you. You're good to go. But now I would love to know your thoughts on these watches and these sneakers as well. So let me know in the comment section down below which combination or which watch was your favorite. And of course, don't forget to check out the watches featured in today's video, which are all linked in the description below at jomashop.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.